what is good guys welcome to the channel welcome back to my few um, but loyal reoccurring viewers I appreciate you for checking out this video for sure I uh, just wanted to give you guys a quick little update on this channel and what I'm planning to do with it moving forward and my main focus essentially is going to be kind of documenting uh, me trying to become a producer full-time so uh, reaching out to artists um, reaching out to different producers to collab with and just really anything I can do to kind of get my foot in the door uh, to become a full-time producer and I thought this would be cool to document because I know that probably like the majority of producers on YouTube are probably in the same boat and so I kind of thought you know I'm just starting out as well and I honestly have no idea what I'm doing so I'm just gonna kind of figure it out as I go hopefully give you guys some tips tell you guys when it's going well, tell you guys when it's not going so well, um, and just all that sort of stuff. So if you're interested in that, uh, make sure to subscribe and turn your notifications on. Um, I believe that is helpful from the YouTube videos I'm watching. But again, I'm not an expert, I'm, you know, just trying it out. But yeah, just wanted to give you guys that quick little update. And this will be episode one of Road to Becoming a Producer. And hopefully this is a legendary moment. Hopefully in a year or I guess however long it takes, hopefully sooner rather than later though, um, we'll all be looking back on this and I don't know, it'll be like a legendary moment. But who knows, maybe not, maybe we'll just all fail. Um, but I think, you know, I think I think we got a good chance. I'm, I'm an optimistic guy. Uh, but anyways though, um, here is the first episode. It's nothing too crazy. I'm just getting started with this YouTube stuff. So that's also something I'm gonna improve upon and I can share that with you guys as well. But anyways, without further ado, Let's get into it. Get it started in here. Let's So I'm just going to reverse this real quick to see how it sounds. The tools go like that, projector from. Ooh, okay, that sounds fire. <laughs> Pitch it up a little bit more, just because it's really low. Is it too dark right there? How much better is the lighting? Oh shit, that's way better. Yeah, so just use a little bit of reverb to blend that a bit. Definitely recommend using that. And now the 808. I'm just going to use the Spins 808 because honestly, it's just the best 808. You really can't fuck with it. I have yet to hear an 808 that's, that comes close to it. If anybody has any other 808s that they highly recommend, though, let me know. But the Spins is just fucking crazy. Alright, so just wrapped up making that beat. I like it. I'm definitely going to try and send it out to some people. Um, I just saved that as like a WAV file and threw my tag on at the beginning. Exported the melodies um, for the beat as well because I'm going to try and send it to producers. But what I'm kind of doing right now is I'm just trying to get a bunch of beats and loops in place. And then I'm also going to look at some of my old stuff. 
as well just to determine what exactly I want to send out and how I want to categorize it and who I want to send it out to just because like if I was trying to send it to Metro Boom and I wouldn't want to send him like some really soft like piano stuff like maybe that he'd be interested in that but I want to kind of fit their styles but still you know be myself as well I don't exactly know who I'm going to send anything to yet so let's figure that out as well but I'll make sure to update you guys hopefully this is helpful I know a lot of people are trying to to do what I'm doing right now and they don't know how to do it and neither do I so that's why I'm doing it and thought it'd be cool to document it um, but yeah I'll give you guys an update when I you know figure some stuff out but for now I'm just gonna keep making beats and loops gonna rearrange this office it's probably gonna take a bit of time my desk is super heavy the worst part is gonna be like putting all these pictures and setting them up that's gonna be a pain because I'm gonna have to try and level them out so it looks good and I picked up some picture frames actually let me just grab that these right here and these are 12 by 16 the pictures I actually got are 12 by 15 but they don't have that anywhere so It'll be like a little bit of space, but I think it should look fine overall. Um, I got these poster photos um, when I was in New Orleans, probably like six months or so ago. And I wanted to put them some up somewhere in my studio, but just kind of forgot about them. But here's what they look like. All right, so we got Prince over here, Jimi Hendrix, Biggie, Pac. All right, so here's how it's looking right now. Gonna level it out a little bit. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Keep in mind, I have my desk down here. I thought about putting them up at the top and like lining them up with these sound panels, but it just didn't look as good. Um, so let me know what you think though. Does it look good or does it look tacky? <laughs> Get it? Because of your tacks in here? Oh, uh, yeah. So the other thing I picked up from the store was these monitor stands. And right now I have these foam ones right here. But I've read they kind of like trap the bass and whatnot. And actually when I was checking them out, because I wasn't even going to buy these, I just saw them when I was in Guitar Center. And I was like, oh, I wonder, you know, what are the reviews on these and like that sort of thing. And they all seem pretty positive. And then when I was actually checking out, the guy told me, he was like, oh, you're going to notice a huge difference in the sound when you get these, especially if you have the foam, which I do have. Um, so I'll check it out and see if these, guys, if these are worth it or not for people. I'm looking forward to seeing if there is like a big difference or not. A little update from last night. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't finish <laughs> getting things done. Got the few pictures up, though. They still looked out. Um, but yeah, I'm just working on setting this up right now. The speakers, I guess the tweeter or tweeter or whatever it's called, that's supposed to be at your ear level, which I knew already. So I have to adjust these to be that height, which I think it's just going to be the shorter one. All right, so pretty much done now. This is what it'll look over, like over here. Over here it looks pretty stupid. A lot of space, but. It's more about what it looks like over here. All right, so I got the speaker on the new acoustic stands. And honestly, it made a huge difference. Like I was shocked at how different it sounded. Over here, I got just the keyboard, other keyboard. Um, got this Focusrite interface. Works very well if you need an interface. It's also pretty cheap if they have any in stock. Now I was trying to get my brother one, but they were out of stock last time I checked. Um, got my camera, that's where I shoot my main footage from. Right now I'm filming on a Sony RX7. It's like my vlogging camera. Um, all right, so currently gonna make like a really quick loop before I do a podcast with my friend Josh. We have a podcast called Out of Office. Uh, we've been doing it for about a year now. It releases every Monday morning, uh, so definitely check that out. We just talk about current events, politics, pop culture news, just really anything that kind of comes up. We were talking about politics a lot just due to the election and that sort of thing. Um, but if you're interested in that, I will link that below in the description. Let's cook up a quick loop, see what we can do 
over the next 20 minutes or so. Alright, so this loop actually was really easy to make and it only took me like five minutes. So I'm just gonna try and make a beat in these next next ten minutes or so. So let's see, let's see what I can do. Mm -hmm. 